But King has another motive for bringing the athletes into the mangrove swamp. Yeah, I've got something. Oh, oh, that is a fat this is the tamalock worm. It looks like a testicle. Oh, look at all of them. They may look disgusting, but they're considered a tasty side dish in these parts. <laughs> With the final element of the feast in place, it's time for the main event. And everyone's invited. The festivities begin with the groom's family fighting for the right to claim the bride. Everyone in the tribe contributes what they can to the bride and groom's future. The union is sealed with a coin, the sign of the groom's dedication to his bride and a splash of coconut liquor. <laughs> Marriage vows over. It's time for the party to begin. The girls are doing the same dance as they did on arrival, but this time they've been told the rules. They're meant to keep their backs turned at all times to the men. You can't dance face on, otherwise it means you're easy, you want him, and we blatantly don't, so we've been doing back to back things, but it's good. It's so, a big improvement yeah. for the first day when we didn't know that's what that meant, because like we were like, Woo! Day five, and with the wedding over, everyone's attention is back on the competition. Nagtaklibang kalda ako, dorong likramo mi, yung balsata, um, maulag, e apa, dula namo ta awan mi rugal, am para maubray ta, maubra mo ta balsa. So you get for complaining, right? Yeah. Ma sa iyo dam balsa tilid, man. Yeah, my obra para telongan ta yang galing mitong obra ng balsa. Oh, no. No. Oh, get down. Each athlete will be helped to build a raft by their tribal dad. But first they must decide whether to use four or five bamboo poles. Cuatro. Cuatro galing malong. Cuatro. I'm going to go for four. Oh, choose to be different. I don't know if I'm gonna. I'm gonna regret this decision. <laughs> I'm not sure what's better, you know, because obviously five, it's gonna be heavier, harder to row, but a lot more balance. So on the day, we don't know what the weather's gonna be like. If it's a really big sea, obviously five's gonna be better to keep us more stable. Um, but if it's really flat, it's not gonna help whatsoever because we're gonna have to row harder to get it moving. <laughs> Twenty-three-year-old rugby player Joni is no stranger to working hard, but she plays hard too. I'd say I'm pretty loud, pretty confident at times. I like to make people laugh, even if it's my expense. It's probably funnier if it's at my expense. But sport, she takes seriously. The most annoying people for me would be would be people that quit really early or make a fuss about an injury. Um, that doesn't really seem to be an injury. I'm probably quite 
harsh when it comes to that, I think. I'd hope that I wouldn't be too bitchy or anything like that. Joni certainly didn't let fear of injury get in the way when she took on the fearsome wrestlers of Brazil's Camayura tribe. I've got very bent sticks. I'm not a fan of the bent sticks. <laughs> it look, look. It's bent. All my straight ones, King just took for Alex's, so I'm a bit pissed off. Alex seems to have village strongman Kagawad King wrapped around her little finger. Wait, ah, see it? See it. See it. See, I, my dad would never make something with me at home. He'd just get the ump and probably swear, smash it up and then run off. Mm. It's time to see how the athletes are measuring up against some of the swiftest teenage rafters in the tribe. It'll be a test not just of their balance and stamina, but of their newly built rafts. I love it. I feel like a sturdy bird. The reality is, is that if we race on them and then they come apart, it's like, oh shit, I built a shit raft. No! <laughs> Mine's sinking! Oh. Mine's sinking already! <laughs> it's a four kilometre race, with the girls having to paddle out of the safety of the bay, round a marker boat, and back to the mangrove entrance. The athletes have improved beyond measure, but it remains to be seen if they're a match for the local boys who are not above a few dirty tricks. Geordie Nat is trailing behind. And in a reversal of early form, water baby Anna is struggling on her new raft. The end's not lifting off the water, so I need to push it through the water. And I might always come apart part of my hand. The boys continue to power ahead, with Les refusing to be left behind. Alex, too, is charging up the field when she notices that Anna has a problem. She thinks she's pulled a muscle in her stomach. King, huh? Anna's hurt, her stomach. Mm. I see it. Oh, Alex, I'm so sorry. Hey, don't be silly. I was like, do you know what, I'm not going to carry on if you oh, bloody no. hurt yourself. I don't really care, do I? I feel like I might be sick. In crippling pain, Anna has to be rescued from her raft. Two kilometres into the race, and the lads have rounded the halfway marker, but Les and Joni aren't too far behind. For them, Alex's decision to pull out of the race to help Anna was a mistake. And when I was turning, I was like, where's Alex? In the same situation, if I were Anna, I don't think I'd make somebody stop. I mean, I think that it's not necessary. With Alex and Anna out, and Natalie stuck at the back of the field, it's up to Leslie and Joni to defend the visitor's honour. The first local finishes. And the 13-year-old winner has thrashed them. Les is the fastest of the girls. I've done it! <sighs> Joni comes in second. Oh my god! And Natalie third. But four kilometres in the sweltering heat has given no, them a wake up call on just how tough this event will be. Same. Have you got blisters? My hands are fucked. So I've got blisters, I've got cramp, like my 
like bum cheeks frozen up, my legs started to go, and my arms went as well. You know, it is hard going. It's a lot tougher than than I expected. Give me some skin. May ang labantang na kung maliwag na naman, may mga tulong dubli ang labanta kung magdaraso ng kaldaw. I knew it was going to... I had it in my head three, three times. times. Uh, how long does he estimate that the race will take? Mga uh, upatang oras. Four hours. <laughs> Four hours. Four hours. Oh. We done third of what we're actually going to be doing on the day. So the fact that you're going to be constantly going for three to four hours is, is something none of us do, do you know what I mean? None of us do an endurance sport. So doing that is really going to sort of, I don't know, rattle a few cages. It's going to be quite a big thing for all of us. For Anna, the challenge is now a straightforward physical one. Will she or won't she be fit? on my bottom right side of my stomach. It might have tore or it's, I don't know what's happened to it. But, you know, if there's a margin, a margin of possibility that it will be okay for the race, I'm definitely gonna take that margin because I'm a real mind over matter girl, so fingers crossed. But not everyone's sympathetic. And I remember thinking straight away, ah, oh, She's playing the whole, saving herself for the race. Uh, that that is immediately. It's wrong, I know, but that that is immediately what it came came to thought. And it wouldn't surprise us if it was a little twinge and it was like, oh, I'm doing really crap. I've got a bit of a dodgy uh, raft. I'm not fancying this whole trek out in the ocean two days before a really long race. I think I might just call it quits now. Uh, I feel really good that I I won today. Um, I know it's not the main race, but even winning today was a little personal battle for me. So, yeah, I'm well chuffed, really, to be honest. It's the day before the race. The tribe know how dangerous the open sea can be and hope that a traditional blessing ceremony will protect the girls. The Tagbanua believe that sprinkling pig's blood on the rafts will ward off evil spirits and keep the rafters safe. Salamat! <laughs> 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 